subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update now we have downloaded and unzipped the eclipse right now let's move on to the eclipse and eclipse.exe open up here the default workspace if you want let it be the default or else you can change the workspace depending on your requirement and just click on launch I have already launched it actually whenever you launch it for the first time you will get something called workbench to the right top corner and you need to click on that workbench in my case it will not display workbench why because I have already opened it so this is your first view of your Eclipse after clicking on workbench and to the left side of a screen we call that as a project explorer where we are going to write all the project to the right side of a screen we have some outline of the project in between the major area what you are seeing there we are going to write the script and at the bottom we have console and error messages and everything will be written in the bottom so these are the major parts of your Eclipse now let's create a new project before starting up with the project how the hierarchy will be generally in Eclipse first we'll start with main project project in that project will have a packages in that packages will be having classes project packages one project may contains one or multiple packages and packages contains classes one package may contain one or multiple multiple classes so we'll be having classes so it can be easily compared with manual testing how the manual testing execution happen it's not mandatory to know it but generally what happens in a manual testing we have a project under project we have a test suit so test suit is nothing but package and under test suit we have test cases test cases is nothing but classes means in this eclipse i'm going to write all my test cases in the classes as simple as that so let's go ahead and let's create the project for that right click on this white color area i'm creating a brand new project guys go to new you just click on project or else some cases directly it will display as a create java project even you can click on that but as if now I'm just creating a project and select the Java project from the list and click on next you can name it generally in the organizations will be naming the project names as com dot or org dot or something like that let me call it as a org dot selenium new something like this selenium new is my project name org dot and just click on finish so I have created a project once I create a project once I create a project just this here we have an option to expand it just expand that we have something called Java system libraries and SRC so in this SRC we are going to create the packages packages nothing but test suit just click on new package and let me give the package name let me call it as pack one whatever you want you can give the package name I am giving it as a pack one in the pack one I am going to create my right click on the pack one new and I am going to create the class this is the first syntax rule write it down in your notes whenever you are creating a Java class file make sure to start with uppercase uppercase okay let's begin it is first test or first example or example one whatever you want you can give it let me call it as an example one example one. sorry and make sure to select this public static void main and just click on finish here we go we have some script on the screen now right some sort of script 
don't worry about what is that script all about i will explain you so here public class public is a access modifier and we have a class class name is example one class name starts here class name ends here in the class i have a main method just here main so leave about this what is this public static void main each term has its each importance we are not going to worry about that as if now the only one thing that you need to have a main what does this mean whenever we run the test whenever we run the test your compiler will look at the main and whatever the script which is given in the main that script will be executed means all the script we are going to write in between this two braces means in the main method clear and in java this slashes two slashes two backslashes represent as a comment means have commented this line what does the comment mean we can view the line but compiler will not execute it okay so this is how the java program structure is on the screen okay yep if you want any notes you can write at the top here before to the class only if you want any notes or any information you can write there okay so let us run a simple java program and let's see how it's working on okay mm, i will just try to perform some multiplication operation and just check it x is equal to 10 what is x here x is a variable and what type of variable it is it is an integer type of variable so in java it's mandatory to declare what type of variable it is what is variable variable is one which holds the value so in this case x is a variable which is holding a value called 10 what is the type of 10 that is an integer if you hold x is equal to kiran what is the name what is the type of kiran it's a string like that integer we'll discuss that don't worry about it y is equal to 20 okay z is equal to integer z is equal to x and y and one more syntax rule every statement should be ended with semicolon and all the syntax rules good guys if you write it down okay so as if now what are the syntax rules what we have went through class name should start with uppercase next every line should end with not every line every statement should be ended with a colon semicolon sorry every statement should be ended with a semicolon and we need to write all your script in the main method you need to have main method at any cost now i want to print this in the console for that we have syso system dot out dot print ln so syso control space it will give you the help syso control space Just click on the first appearance and just click on z this here i am asking it to multiply 10 into 20 and write the result in the z and print that z value z value not z will print the z value this here it's actually compiling happened uh, here if you have any problem means i have not given any semicolon directly it is throwing an error right but if you write in the notepad once compelling only it will give you that this is an important and here we called run button run in the sense this is what executing it it will execute it and it will give you the result just click on okay and it has executed it you can see that in the console clear yes so a simple java program is working and eclipse is configured successfully if this is working then it's working good perfect now what happens if i write a selenium script does it works obviously no because we haven't because we haven't configured anything about selenium yet so 